All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, we are going to preview both Monday night games for tonight. And that will uh, be how we end off the show here today. So let's get into the first game we'll preview. We'll preview the uh, Ravens-Buccaneers game, and then we'll go to the uh, Chargers-Cardinals after that. So uh, these teams met. Uh, a couple years ago, uh, that was Tom Brady's last year. Uh, that was back in Tampa. That was on a Thursday night. Ravens got the win there. Um, now, obviously, it's a little bit different. You got Baker Mayfield playing quarterback, and he's been playing well this year. And the Ravens have really hit their stride. They they really have. Uh, Derrick Henry is awesome. Uh, it, it's I mean, that that probably is the best signing of the off season, uh, is bringing in Derrick Henry. Um. I mean, he, he's just, he's been unbelievable this year. Uh, 704 yards rushing, eight touchdowns. Lamar Jackson, 10 touchdowns to two interceptions. And then on the other side, Baker Mayfield, 15 touchdowns to five interceptions. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, looking at the league rankings, Ravens, sixth in passing yards per game. The Buccaneers are ninth. Rushing yards per game, the Ravens, of course, are first, averaging 205.3 rushing yards per game. The Bucks are eighth. They're starting to get it going on the ground. Uh, last week against the Saints, you know, uh, Bucky Irving, he's been running the football well. Uh, Sean Tucker, uh, he was making plays for them against the Saints. Rashad White was banged up. He's back. And Todd Bowles was talking about, you know, the running back situation. And he was saying how it's going to be more of a committee. Uh, so you're going to see all three guys out there. Now, that, you know, hurts their value in fantasy. But, you know, that that that's good when you got, you know, that many running backs in your backfield that, you know, you can mix and match. And, you know, that's I sound like I'm talking baseball when I'm talking about mixing and matching. But, I mean, that, that's good for the Buccaneers, though. You know, give the Ravens different looks. Um, you know, we'll see how that works out tonight. Um, and then points per game. The Buccaneers are third, 29.7 points per game. And the Ravens are fourth, 29.5 points per game. I mean, the Buccaneers, they put up 50 points on the Saints last week. So that, you know, factored in. But, you know, 33 points against the Eagles, 30 against the Falcons, 37 against the Commanders. Um, you know, they do put up points. And, you know, I, I do expect this game to be competitive. I, I do feel like, though, the Ravens are the better team uh, in, this, uh, in this matchup here. And then on the defensive side of the ball, against the pass, uh, both teams are at the bottom. Uh, the Ravens are 32nd, giving up an average of 298.2 passing yards per game, and the Buccaneers are 29th, giving up an average of 272.3. And then against the run, Buccaneers are 13th. The Ravens are the number one team at stopping the run. They're holding teams to 59 rushing yards per game. So we'll see, you know, this Buccaneers running game, like I just talked about, match up against the number one running defense, rushing defense. Uh, points allowed. Uh, the Buccaneers' defense is 20th. Ravens are 24th. So, um, you know, and, and the Bucks, you know, like I said, Baker Mayfield's playing well. Mike Evans, uh, you know, is kind of iffy going into this game, but it looks like he's going to play. Uh, he was on the Rich Eisen show, um, and he was saying that, you know, he's going to play. Uh, Chris Godwin. Chris Godwin, I mean, he has been unbelievable this year. Um, you know, he's been playing really well. And, uh, again, he's another guy that I hope – doesn't really do anything tonight because I'm going against him in fantasy. Uh, but uh, he, he's been playing well. And, you know, Baker Mayfield's been playing well. And the Bucks, you know, getting guys back on defense, you, you hope. Uh, but we'll see. It, it's going to be tough to stop the Ravens' offense, though, tonight. I mean, the, the, the Bucks are going to have to match what the Ravens do. Uh, I expect Derrick Henry to have a big game. Uh, I And the Bucks are a three-and-a-half point underdog i think the ravens do win and i think they do cover the number i just think they are the better team and you know for the bucks it, what's interesting is this nfc south because the panthers i mean they got blown out yesterday by the commanders and jane daniels got hurt in that game marcus mariota finished up the game and and he played well um the panthers i, I mean they're they're out the saints they look like they're out uh, with all the injuries i mean in that thursday night game 
uh, against the Broncos. That that was that was tough to watch. And then you got the Falcons, who you thought turned the corner, and now they did not play great against Seattle. Kirk Cousins did not play well either. So the Bucks, I mean, look at them, and you say eh, they they could be uh you know the favorites for this division right now. Um, I mean, it's it's still between them and the Falcons. It's by no means that the, you know they're a lock, but you know if if the the Bucks can win tonight, that would be huge. Uh, that would be huge going forward. And you know, like I said, they got the Chiefs on the schedule. They got the Niners. They got some tough games coming up. Uh, they got the Ravens this week. They got the Falcons next week at home. Then at Arrowhead on a Monday night, and then home against the Niners. Those are some tough games. So, you know, if they could go 2-2, two and two, that would be huge for them. That would be huge. And then out of the bye week, you got three easy games. You got the Giants, which, I mean, I think, they, again, Giants have a good defense, but they can't score. Panthers they should beat. Raiders they should beat. At the Chargers is going to be tough. They play the Cowboys, which, I mean, I think they should win that game, but who knows. Panthers at home, and then the Saints at home. So, I like the Bucks. Right now, they're, they're uh, you know, they got a they got a really good shot to win this division. But you know, the Falcons they have a they have a, you know, some tough games on their schedule. Um, you know, they got the Vikings in there. I'm looking at right now, uh, the Chargers. You got, um, you got the Bucks next week. So we'll see. It, it's going to be a close race. But that that's who it's going to come down to, is is those two teams. So, but yeah, tonight, I, like I said, I like the Ravens. You guys know me like Baker Mayfield a lot, but um, I, I think the uh, the Bucks fall short here tonight. I like the Ravens to win. I'm going to say 27-20 is the final score. Like I said, I think the Bucks will put up points. I, I think, you know, this will be close, but um, Ravens, I think, are the better, better football team, and, and I, I like them to win this game here. So um, I'm going to – I, I, I got the Ravens. Then we move on to the – Second Monday night game, and that is between the Chargers and the Cardinals. Uh, Cardinals losing last week to the Packers. Uh, the Chargers, they picked up a win against the Broncos. They're 3-2 and two on the season. Um, these two teams met, I think, in 20, 2022, I believe. Um, and the Chargers won that game. Uh, looking at the league rankings, uh, Cardinals are 26th in passing yards per game. Chargers are 31st. Uh, Chargers are a team that loves to run the football. Uh, rushing yards, uh, Cardinals are 7th, 145.2 rushing yards per game. Actually, the Chargers are 12th. I thought they would have been higher. But, yeah, they're averaging 127.8 rushing yards per game. And then points per game, the Cardinals are 18th and the Chargers are 25th. Then on the defensive side of the ball, uh, the Chargers defense is the better defense in this matchup. Uh, they are giving up an average of 209.4 passing yards per game, which is 11th. And the Cardinals, they are giving up an average of 230.3 passing yards per game. The Chargers are 6th, giving up an average of 97.2 pass uh, rushing yards per game. And then the Cardinals are 30th. Uh, i got to fix my camera again. Uh, they're giving up an average of 153 rushing yards per game. So that doesn't bode well for my... Uh, for my fantasy team with James Conner, um, you know, and I'm going up against my friend who has J.K. Dobbins, and I'm hoping Dobbins doesn't do much, but we'll see. Maybe if Conner could, you know, maybe he doesn't, you know, have a ton of yards in this game, but, you know, maybe the Cardinals, they put up points in this game, and, you know, he scores a couple of rushing touchdowns. That would be nice. And then points allowed, Chargers defense is first. They're giving up an average of 13.2 points per game and the Cardinals are 29th they're giving up an average of 27.2 so I mean you look at I mean you look at the uh the statistics I mean the Chargers are the better team here um you know offensively they haven't been overly impressive they don't put up a ton of points uh Justin Herbert this year you know he, he hasn't been spectacular um on the season he is looking at his uh Touchdown interception ratio. I mean, it's good. It's six to one, but he only six touchdown passes. Um, he's at eight hundred fifteen passing yards. Kyler Murray eight touchdowns and two picks, which is good. Uh, Eleven hundred eighty six passing yards. D J K Dobbins has been good this year. Four hundred thirty eight rushing yards and three touchdowns. James Conner four hundred three 
and three touchdowns. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to be playing in this game, it looks like. Uh, he's their leading receiver this year for the Cardinals, 279 receiving yards and four touchdowns. Um, uh, Joey Bosa uh, did not practice doubtful uh, for this matchup, so that's that's big for the Cardinals, um, you know, with him being out. And then on the Cardinals' side, um, you know, some guys are limited, but uh, like I said, Marvin Harrison Jr., of course, he left the game against the Packers with a concussion. He looks like he's going to play, so uh, we'll see. I mean, right now, the Chargers are one-point favorites. I do like the Chargers to win this game. I mean, I think it's like a, I would say like a 20-17 to 17 game, 23-20 game. Um, I think, I think it'll be close. Um, but yeah, Kyler Murray has not played, well, he didn't play well last week. I mean, they did beat the 49ers on the road, you know, so I can't, I mean, I can't say he hasn't played well this year. I just, I told you, I mean, eight touchdowns and two picks, that's good. Um, but you, you, again, he's one of those guys, you want to see more out of him. And, you know, the Cardinals, I, I mean, I, I, I think that, you know, they're kind of going to finish around what I had them at. Record wise, I mean, right now they're two and four. Um, you know, they got the Dolphins then next week. Then they play against the Bears. You know, they do have some tough games coming up on the schedule. They still got to play the Rams and the Niners again, um, even though they destroyed the Rams when they played them. But it's going to be different when they play the Rams a second time because, you know, they're going to probably have Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua back by then. So, um, you know, for the Chargers, look, they play really good defense and they run the football. You know, Harbaugh is already changing the culture over there. And, um, you know, once you get, you know, some more playmakers on this offense, uh, you know, and you continue to rebuild this team, the Chargers are going to be a good team uh, for a long time uh, with Harbaugh, I would imagine. So um, I expect them to win tonight, get to 4-2. and two. Cardinals probably going to drop to 2-5. and five. But we'll see. You never know. But that game is on ESPN+. Plus. So like I said, if you have a friend, a family member, or some random person you see on the street, ask them if they have an ESPN Plus account. If you don't have it, if you really want to watch this game. I mean, if you don't, look, we got we got Buccaneers uh, Ravens on as well. So, But uh, that's the only way you're going to be able to watch this game is if you have ESPN+. Plus. So, But yeah, I got the Chargers winning. I got the Ravens winning as well. So let me know what you guys think. Who do you have winning these games? Let me know in the comments. And that is pretty much it for the show for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to check out all the other shows. Give the other shows some love, like I always say. Uh, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and like the video. Greatly appreciate it. So, yeah, until next time, I'm Kenneth Grunfelder signing off from the GSMC Football Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care.